striped pike charison, care guide, tank size, diet, and more. There are the docile, the good, the unpredictable, and then there's fish simply born bad. If perverse ample to favor to one, or even more, here's one of the most foxy hunters you can consider. Very few fish I've saved have I additionally seen in the wild, even though Bulingerella lateristriga, the striped pike charison, is one. I first noticed this species on a time out to the Rio Negro in Brazil. And it was a actual thrill because I have continually had a particular ardor for this fish and its cousins. We stopped at a lake next to the most important river acknowledged as a terra firma lake because it is a permanent body of water only occasionally flooded via the river and as a result, acts as its own ecosystem. Fish spill in and populate it, however over time fish predate every other and the balance turns into predator heavy. This one had seen piranha and peacock base, and, as I snuck up alongside the bank, I saw pike charisons too. Faced with such formidable and toothy opposition however, these are no longer open water fish. Instead they are found in the shady margins in the corners of the lake. I was fortunate sufficient to watch them hunt too, which they do through emerging from the overhanging leaves and gliding arrow straight across the surface. Propulsion is initiated with the aid of the pectoral fins, as any tail motion will alert their prey. They maneuver into position, getting ever closer to prey, in this case tiny however stunning killifish, and then, when shut enough, the tail spring loads and they strike. In actual ambush predator trend the eye and mouth are disguised by using a horizontal stripe. Even if they alternate course to comply with the fish they stay inflexible and swing round again, the use of their pectoral fins. If they miss, or become startled, they use the pectorals once greater to reverse returned into the tree line. Category Rating Hair level, moderate, temperament, aggressive, color form, silvery brown but with a thick dark band along both flanks and mottled fins. Lifespan, 5 to 8 years. Size, 25 centimeters. Family, C. tenaluciidae, minimum tank size, adults need at least 180 cm, 72, and smaller fish will be okay in 120 cm, 48. Tank setup, overhang, compatibility, festive cichlids, mesonauta, angelfish with severums and peaceful catfish like Brocus and Dianema. Finding them. This fish isn't effortlessly accessible as it is not bred in captivity, although it and its cousin, the spotted pike charison, are accessible either in stock from specialists or to order by way of a decent wholesaler, to be delivered to your neighborhood shop. Native to Brazil, they will be shipped in almost constantly as adults of around 15 cm, 6. Being wild caught and experiencing a lengthy journey, they will want to be quarantined, rested and acclimatized to aquarium life. They might also want treating for white spot too, in case they select it up via the stress of getting bloodless whilst traveling. Feeding them. I be aware of they are predators of small fish, and even though an easy or alternative would be to offer stay fish like tetras it's no longer recommended. It's unfair on the tetras, as they can't escape as they can in the wild. Instead thaw out some frozen smelts, a small useless marine bait fish, to tempt them with. This practice will take trial, error and skill, as wild courts will be naturally wary. Smelt is better than herbal prey and they won't appreciate having a big hand attached to it either. Try to imitate herbal movement with the fish by popping it into the tank and then hiding it, leaving the fish to hunt it. Or tie on fishing line, obviously accept the hook and drag the baitfish round the tank to make it show up to swim. For days after being imported count on them to snub food, however once they make that first lunge, through a combination of hunger and instinct, feeding will be straightforward. I love the way they feed too. Like a predatory chicken eating a fish, they use tweezer-like jaws to flip the fish into position so it's always taken head first. 
being so elongate and with expandable stomachs. Expect your pike charisons to show a suggested belly bulge after feeding. Note that it's so appropriate thinking to insert some food sticks for predatory fish interior that melt for greater nutrition. With such a cryptic looking species it would be incorrect to beautify an aquarium with something other than herbal materials. Furnish it with a satisfactory sand, spindly bogwood to imitate branches and some floating vegetation, either from large floating flora like water hyacinth, water lettuce or Amazon frogbit, or with the overhanging leaves and roots from a residence plant like philodendron. These are shy fish that solely experience tightly closed if having a throwback to reverse inter, and if they feel they can move to some place where they seem invisible. Tank mates. In that Brazilian lake we notice the entirety from these small killies and tetras to peacock base and piranha, and though biotopically correct, the small fish should be excluded as they are herbal prey. The peacock base developed big and piranha will consume pike charisons. Other fish that shared the habitat included angelfish, severims, festive cichlids, chocolate cichlids, banded leporinus and lamolita tiniata, the striped head stander. They would all make proper tank mates in a large community. If going non bioto keep away from any boisterous predators that will outcompete them, like snakeheads and arowana, or challenging cichlids that will steal their meals and make their lives hell. Because of the nature of these fish, the tank must be set up around their desires and fishy tank mates matched accordingly.